These are the moments that show snippets of what Stacy Autry was like. A happy and cheerful child who constantly put smiles on the faces of her family. But these smiles are now memories of grief for the Autry family. I At 8 p.m. Sunday, February 4, Kingsley Autry, father of Stacy, claims he received a distressing call asking him to rush to pick up his daughter from a Brigel Senior High School because she was unwell. Upon arrival, he claims to have witnessed a shocking scene. When I got there, my child was on the floor and was unconscious. My wife screamed and cried, asking us to rush to the hospital. I was so shocked and became weak all of a sudden. Kingsley says he quickly rushed his daughter to the Tetequashi Memorial Hospital, but would soon realize it was too late. <laughs> When we got there, the doctor said she was dead on arrival. Hey! Staff at the hospital told TV3 Stacy Autry was dead on arrival. The family is furious and claim the inaction of the school caused the death of their daughter. Why did the school take my child's health insurance when she was enrolled? Why didn't the house mistress take my child to the hospital? So if I was at Bolibon Boy, I would have had to drive all the way just to take my child to the hospital. The school has killed my child. We visited the Abri Girl Senior High School, but attempts to get the school to respond to the claims by the family proved futile after three hours of waiting. A source high up in the school, however, told TV3 they dispute the accounts as narrated by the parents. While the school did not respond, it has emerged parents have had major concerns about health care in the school, with one parent association meeting laying out concerns over how the huge student population has caused considerable stress on the limited resources of the school clinic how the school clinic has run out of medication and is currently forced to refer most cases to the hospital, and the need for additional nurses. The incident, according to Executive Director of Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari, highlights of the weak health and safety facilities and protocols in many senior high schools in Ghana. The situation as you know, emerging in a Brigels, it's only a symptom of deep-seated deficits in the availability of health and safety facilities and also in the lack of protocols that the school managers are supposed to comply with in managing health and safety issues when they emerge. Asari says the practice about how to deal with sick students has always been standard. There is always a health prefect who will be the first point of reference. From the health, from the health prefect, the issue gets to the senior housemaster or the housemaster. Then, the sick bay comes in. It is after the sick bay has assessed the situation and then determined that you know the matter needs a referral to the hospital that the school will take the, the, the student to the hospital. The story is likely to resurrect an age-old debate of duty of care for students in boarding schools and the protocols that guides their treatment. Well, currently the body of Stacey Autry is in police custody undergoing autopsy. But until a final determination is made on the actual cause of her death, her family have vowed never to rest until justice is served. Judith Brown, TV3 News, Every Girl Senior High School.